Sending a child off to school is a big step for any family, but it can be especially challenging if the child has special needs. A program in the South Valley is empowering parents with the skills necessary to access and follow through with services to ensure the child is prepared to enter kindergarten successfully when the time comes. Visalia father Rudy Guido signed up for the Bridging the Gap program at the Parenting Network in Visalia after getting custody of his son, Anthony. My main concern was communication. My son was nonverbal. He didn't speak at all. Anthony was three years old at the time and had just been diagnosed with autism. Everything came rushing at once from getting custody to my uh, my boss going out of business and me losing my job and I mean economy everything just came crashing down on me at once and I had nowhere to turn. Bridging the Gap is a school readiness program designed to serve families of children ages three to five years old with special needs. It's for those uh, children who are in jeopardy of falling throughout the gaps and getting the services needed. For them. The program works primarily with parents, giving them the information and encouragement needed to promote their child's development. And by helping and empowering the parents and giving them the tools on how to advocate and how to um, access their community resources, we're empowering the parent and by empowering the parent, that child will have a better outcome and be ready to enter kindergarten successfully. When Rudy first came to the program, he was unsure of how to get help for his child. When I first started coming to him, I was, you know, a little bit shy, a little bit, you know, not understanding what I'm getting myself into. Um, but at the same time, it was a learning experience. You know, I wanted to learn how to play with my child, learn how to just be around him a little more, you know, where he wasn't too just quiet and away from me. He just knew that there was a diagnosis of autism, but didn't know where to go from there, didn't know what to do. One unique aspect of the program is that the employees, such as Rudy's case manager, Annette Jaramillo, also have a sibling, grandchild, or child of their own with special needs. In June 27th, um, my son will be 10. He was born premature with CP, cerebral palsy. And um, as I, I meet parents um, with severe disabilities to minimal, as far as speech impairments, you know, I, I can understand what that parent or that family's going through because, you know, I have been there. I'm there. It let, lets me know that, you know, every they have an understanding of what I'm going through, um, you know, whether going on outings or just being with our kids in public, you know, and just what we face and, you know, the hardships that we go through. In-depth case management ensures that these families receive needed support and services. So, um... We just connected him to the resources that were out there for them, for him. Kind of would share with him about my own life experiences and how if we don't advocate for our child, nobody will. Bring me the strip. That we're their mouth, that we're their ears, we're their everything, you know. And so we, uh, Dad participated in a lot of our functions, um, our parent academy program, uh, our conferences we would have. And as we connected him to these other services, we seen him just bloom. We just seen him bloom and, and, and um, grab his son and go with it. The parenting class is what I liked the most. It was meeting the parents and, you know, understanding what they're going through, what I'm going through, similar situations. Parent involvement is crucial. As a result of Rudy's efforts and help from bridging the gap, Anthony is making huge strides. Dinosaur, good talking. At five years old, Anthony is now talking and using a picture exchange communication system to express his needs and wants. Now he's got it to where um, he has an I want strip. And now that he's starting to talk, he's starting to repeat what he wants. You know, I want whatever picture he puts on there. It could be cereal, chips, hot dogs, anything. And he would say what he wanted. And I could, finally, I was communicating with my son. So that was real exciting. The latest victory, Anthony is on track to begin kindergarten. 
For more information about the Bridging the Gap program at the Parenting Network in Visalia, call 559-625-0384 or you can go to kvbt.org and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes for more information. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.